Hi witches, blessed be. This is Wife Raven over here. Today's Monday, so happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. Oh my god, guys. I've been waiting for today for a whole week. I'm so excited today's here. I'm so excited that I'm coming before you to share this with you. Uh, I already went on a shopping spree this morning because I have so many things that I want to share with you guys that it's, it's like, I wish I had more time. I wish I had more time that I can share all these videos with you because I'll be posting like every hour, I swear. Um, thank you so much for all the love. I have received a lot of hate for these videos that I'm doing lately, curses, uh, which makes me want to tell you a few things. Number one, it's really sad how people saying that witches do curses just because, oh, we're so evil. We want to get even with people because we don't like them. Oh, and because we can. No. The purpose be behind a curse is not to do something to somebody else that is innocent just because we're just evil and we want to inflict pain upon others. That is not the real purpose of a curse. That is not to say there's a lot of evil people out there that do curse just because they can and because they're vindictive and because they're envious. But that's not the reason for you to do a curse. Which takes me also to the point of how conflicted I was getting because I've been sharing this with you guys and uh, based on a lot of your comments, I know for a fact that a lot of people are using these curses that I'm teaching you guys for the wrong reasons. And then I think about it. I think, should I be still sharing this? And then I get the message that moved my heart from you guys. All the thank yous and all the comments that you guys have left in the videos, particularly the inbox in my Facebook page or in my uh, email, layerofthewitch at yahoo.com. And you guys move me because you guys, I know that I have making a difference in people's life and it's not me. I'm, I'm just a person and maybe I'm just, um, a way of the universe telling you that you got what it takes to take over your life, okay? You have to empower yourself and go inside you and, and you have what it takes to make wrongs right, right? Um, I have gotten evil like messages from people that probably are scrolling other witches like, and I'm sorry, I don't want to say it this way, but there's a lot of very judgmental witches out there. And I think they come from a particular path, but I'm not gonna say the name. And you know what? Before you comment on this video, I'll suggest for you to go ahead and watch it through because the purpose of this video and these curses is not for us to inflict pain upon the innocent. It's for us to get even with people that's evil to us. Done. Right? And we're not going to be taking shit from people because that's not the way life should be. And since I know these things, I want to share with you guys so I can empower you guys so you guys can do things in the privacy of your home that nobody's going to know and nobody needs to know. All right, but we do get even. We do get even and we send back all the pain that has been inflicted upon us and this is how we do it. All right, now, on the same token, guys, I want to do a warning here, all right? If you're doing these spells and these curses for the wrong reasons, mark my words. You will regret it because the universe the universe knows, the universe knows, and the, the universe has this really wicked way of taking over. And uh, the spells will come and bite you in the ass, okay? So that's all I'm going to say about that. Thank you so much for all the love. Even thank you so much for all the hate, because that makes me think that I'm doing something good, right? Right? Um, anyways, what are we going to do today? We're going to do a really simple spell, and it's going to be a curse. This is a curse, all right? Uh, and this is a curse to... Um, Inflict misfortune to somebody that has done something to you. 
you have a co-worker that is an ass kisser and she's not better than you he's not better than you he's probably a dumb ass but since she or he's an ass kisser they took your position they gave it to her they gave it to him and they didn't give it to you when you have been the one working hard all along all your life this is something to get even you have somebody that's slandering you and has completely fucked up with your reputation this is a spell for you you have somebody that promised you that if you lend them money they're going to triple it for you and they stole your money this is a spell for you because the beauty of this spell is that you're going to design it for whatever it is that you need all right it's not something that for jealousy it's not something for illness it's not something for no this is going to be a spell it's going to be a curse and you design it however you want all right so these are the things that we're going to need for this spell a container you're going to need cemetery dirt and i suggest you that if you do not know how to get cemetery dirt make sure you go and check my video on how to collect cemetery dirt because there's a protocol behind it okay there is something that you have to do in order to go ahead and take some cemetery dirt um I, this is not cemetery dirt i'm not doing this for me i'm just teaching you guys so i'm not going to play with cemetery dirt if i'm actually not going to need it for real all right you're going to need some olive oil you are going to need a black candle make sure it's not too big because you got to watch this burn okay you have to make sure it burns in one sit uh you're going to need five pins you're going to need five rusty nails i do have rusty nails but i just noticed that they don't fit in my container sorry make sure your nails are rusty okay you're going to need hair from the person that you're inflicting revenge but i do understand that hair is not something that you come across that easy it's really 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 hard um so you can use spanish moss i also understand that spanish moss, spanish moss is not available for everybody um so if you do not have spanish moss and uh Warning, Spanish moss over here is a real Spanish moss. It's not the one that they sell in the craft stores. You need real Spanish moss. If you don't have that, then please make sure you have a link of the person that you are doing this curse for, okay? Nowadays, guys, there's no excuses. Everybody has Facebook. We can print pictures. I mean, the sky is the limit. We, I'm pretty sure that if you really, really, really want a connection to this person, you get it. A lot of you guys, I already know. I already know. A lot of you guys are going to say, well, what if I don't know who's the people that inflicted pain upon me? Well, how do you know that somebody inflicted pain upon you? How do you know somebody did something to you in this sense? This spell, this curse is going to be for when you know for a fact that somebody did something to you. Like somebody that took money from you, somebody that is slandering you, somebody that messed up your opportunity at work. This is what this spell is for. This is not for somebody you don't know of. You have no clue if it actually is a person or not. That's not for that, okay? This is how you get in trouble, all right? So, okay, so what are we going to do? Uh, make sure you have the link to the person. I have a paper, a parchment over here, brown paper, and a pencil. Because I'm also going to put in here, what is it that I want? So the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to put what belongs to the person in the bottom of the bottle. Okay? Second thing you're going to do, do nails that are rusty. Make sure they're rusty, okay, guys? Put them tip down like you're piercing the person. I'm sorry if this is making noise. I know my microphone is there and it may make some noise. You want to pierce the person. Now listen, this is when you gather justify anger. This is when you get your feelings, all the pain that you're feeling inside. Let it bleed through. Feel it. Because you know that in this spell, the most important ingredient is you. You drive this spell, your intentions, your pain, your anger, your justified anger is what's going to be driving this spell. Even if you don't have anything over here, just sitting down and send this back should be enough if you have your justified anger and your skin. You want to transfer that to this spell. So make sure that every time you're putting one of these nails in here, Justify anger is piercing that person. 
No time. No time for bullies. There's a lot of people, opportunists over there, that they step on you. They step all over you. And they are evil and they're mean and they don't give a shit about who they hurt. Because they're so selfish. Break them. Put your pins. Time to break these fuckers. No time to play around. No time. You want my job? Mm -hmm. Here, you have it. Enjoy it. In my little paper, I'm going to put over here what I want. Name of the person. So and so. Last name. Link it as much as you can, especially if you don't have anything from the body of the person like hair or nails, okay? If you know the um, date of birth and whatnot, put it here. And then you're going to see, you're going to put in here, what is it that you want? I want to to have so much stress because of the position that you have now that you're not going to be able to sleep and you're going to hate it so much that you're going to quit. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you want, it, this is between you and the paper, okay? And the universe. And make sure it's fair, okay, guys? Don't go being evil on me. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You're going to put the paper in there. And then we're going to sprinkle. Now, you can actually cover the whole bottle with the cemetery dirt if you want. Or not. Okay. We're going to sprinkle the cemetery dirt in here. Uh, this is the time, guys, that if you actually know how to gather cemetery dirt, you probably already went to the cemetery and you told the dead person that you got the dirt from, number one, that you have permission to get that dirt, number two, that you're asking that person for assistance for this particular spell, okay? Um, so I have that over here. You're going to close the lid of that container. Now, I have my super duper plate that I use for everything. I'm going to put the rest of the cemetery dirt in it. All right. I'm going to anoint this candle with olive oil. Make sure you don't soak this candle. Okay, just put what you need. And now we're going to roll this candle in here. If you do not put the brown paper inside the container before you anoint the candle with the olive oil, you want to inscribe the candle with what you want. So you will get an, a nail if you have and you're writing here what you want. All right. Make sure you cover the candle. All right. Now I roll this in the cemetery dirt. If you put a lot of cemetery dirt on this candle, chances are she won't burn all the way through. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Put this to the side. Get my container. And let's put this baby here. Ha <laughs> You got what it takes. You can do this yourself. Light your candle. As this fire burns, the smoke that you don't see, that's just feathering away, send your magic. Send your curse. See it. See it searching for the person until it hits it. See this energy entering that person. See a reaction of that person when it feels this energy. Goosebumps. Startling. A noise. See it. See this spell and see the reaction of that person. See it through. 
Is there somebody that took your job, the position that you wanted? See it having issues working. Seeing, seeing the person, see the person hating what they're doing. See reactions in the person, visualize it. See it through. See this person going crazy. See this person really hating what they got because of what they did to you. They take your money. They rob you. They ask you to lend them money because they needed it. They got what they wanted with your money and they never pay you back and now they don't even talk to you. That money is going to take like, it's going to taste like shit in their mouth. See it happening. Get even. Become karma. This is what you do. This is what you can do. Now, you're going to let this candle burn all the way through. Once this is done, you're going to leave this at the crossroad. Now, I'm going to add something in here. When you are a witch, it takes years for you to collect things, herbs, roots, things. There's so many things that you use in spells. And there's so many things that you have to do in order for a spell to work. And a lot of those things is going out of your way to do what you got to do. People write me and they tell me, oh, I live in a city. There's no crossroads. I live in a city. But you know what happens when I need a crossroad? I drive. Sometimes I have to bury things like this in faraway places. Sometimes I got to go get cemetery dirt from specific cemeteries and I have to travel. Magic is about how far you want to take it. And it's going to need your commitment in order to do what you got to do. By sitting down over here, it's like, oh, I, don't, I live in a city, I don't want to drive, oh, I don't have a car. Oh, Listen, you can sit down and make all the excuses in the world. It's up to you. It really is up to you. Whatever it is, whatever, whatever, do whatever you want. It's entirely up to you. I'm telling you right now that this spell, it calls for you to bury this in a crossroad. Find a crossroad. There is always a crossroad. If you cannot find a crossroad for whatever reason, then you need to bury this somewhere away from your property. You do not want to have curses in your house. I already told you this from the first video I shared with you guys like a month ago when I started talking to you guys about curses. You do not want to have curses in your house. Um, all right, do your curse, get rid of it. All right, thank you so much for all the love, guys. Email me at layerofthewitch at yahoo.com. And remember, I will give you some advice, but I am not here to take you back the hand for you to do every single step of this video. When I don't answer, research. We live in a time in which we have information at the tip of our fingers do not wait for me to tell you what to do you need to empower yourself and you empower yourself by learning all right it is always awesome talking to you which is i may be sharing in other videos today maybe maybe not it depends how long it takes me to load this video and edit and whatnot but until next time stay wicked bye